One thing we know that uh, Binary played as a child, um, was it child? Maybe not a child Binary, but you were playing Crash Bandicoot. You used to love Crash Bandicoot as a kid, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. You used to like yeah, Crash Yeah, you thought it was the best game ever, right? <laughs> <laughs> there's a rev uh, there's a review uh, in your house somewhere that said this is the best game I've ever played. <laughs> oh, the young childhood memories. Uh, yeah, no, a, a remaster will be nice. Yeah, would you play I'm it not again? Sure if it's main stage worthy on PS4 though. But, uh, yeah. So uh, it sounds like they're rebuilding the game. So they're up, upping the assets for Crash Bandicoot One, Two, and I missed the third one. Um, coming soon, I think was the trailer. But, um, I don't know. Golden, did you play much Crash? I'm, I'm not a really Crash guy. I, I played a little bit. Um, yeah. it, it's, it was fun. It was platforming, mm. uh, you know, kind of with an RPG element. Kind of the story was okay. The graphics yeah. were decent. You know, it, it came out, like, right when all that Ratchet and Clank was coming out. and all, You know, it, it, they were all kind of, you know, battling each other. And to be honest with you... Uh, it, in that time those were some good games man like they were fun to play and uh you know again going back to uh to your daughter and i, I you know i've got a little girl now and you know i she's not going to be playing for a while but that would be really cool you know to be able to start playing you know those mm -hmm. really good games and those mechanics with uh with her and i think that that was you know that's what exactly what these games are for and it's really cool they're bringing crash back though but uh, it would have been really cool to see something new you know, mm. so, like a new game or something yeah, like yeah, that, agreed. attached attached to the uh, the re or the remastered stuff. So, uh, but yeah. yeah, I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. Uh, I will probably, if uh, I probably won't get it right when it comes out, but if it uh, you know if it drops down to like forty or something like that, I think I'm, in, I'm I'll pay for it. I'll pay for that. Yeah, and uh, we know that Binary will pay for Star Wars. Anything with Star Wars on it, right? Anything with Lego. Yeah. Oh, so it's Lego. Yeah, oh, there we go. Really? He, yeah. 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 He, I love my Lego games. Yeah. Lego games are good. Yeah. They're at it. Just 100% those is a, a challenge and a joy at the same time. Have you got so, yeah. one of those Ecto-1 Ghostbuster Lego kits? No, I don't. I do have Lego Dimensions, though. I'm not into Lego, but I, I, I would like an Ecto-1. That would be pretty cool. But um, anyway, sorry, I distracted you from Star Wars, which is the, the other awesome property of Lego. Um, what, uh, what say you? Did you see any of this stuff from, from Lego Star Wars? Uh, well, I've seen some of the... the I've, I, didn't, I didn't get a chance to watch the PS4 show, yep. but uh, I watched the um, I watched some of the, the, the actual game release footage. And, you know, it, it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like a great Lego game again. Yeah. Um, anything that... Le anything that lego game does it just appeals to all gen all ages all genders um and it's something you can pick up and play for 10 minutes or you can you know sink a couple of hours in and feel like yeah. you get progression you're getting some type of gain and enjoyment right um it's just stupid fun right yeah it looked like it and they they there was a great they showed a scene from it where um if you remember the scene in the in the, in the episode seven and it, it looks like it literally is shot for shot episode seven in lego um, and that scene where Kylo Ren has a massive hissy fit in his little quarters, and they, and they showed that. <laughs> <laughs> and he opens it's the door. It's awesome so funny too, yeah. it's a Lego yeah. character, right? And, yeah, and, 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 fun. And his, oh, it was great, yeah. In his room, he's got like a, a Death Star light, and, and it's all like decked out in Star Wars mem memorabilia. <laughs> anyway, um, so look, that's exciting and fun, but moving from fun and silly with Lego Star Wars onto Hideo Kojima's new game, and he came out, he introduced, said hello, and of course the crowd went wild. You know, Hideo, Kojima, particularly since his fallout with Konami, has just been this recognized god. You know, people uh, are just itching to see what he's up to with Kojima Studios, his own joint. Um, and he came out on stage and he said, I'm back. Uh, and everyone just went crazy. And I thought that was yeah. cool. Um, I mean, how cool, this guy's like the rock star of video games. He can do that and people just go nuts. Death Stranding, Golden, you, you took a look at this this trailer. Um, what did you think of Death, Death Stranding? Death Stranding, I don't know, something. <laughs> um, I thought that the uh, it was just awesome. The the little kid or the little baby, it was attached to him. Um, you know, and then the dude from The Walking Dead, what's that guy's name? They, they said his name, but I forget. Uh, but, you know, yeah. but here's, to, the, yeah. here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. They were going to use him for the Silent Hill thing. What was the name of it? The um, oh man, I can't believe I can't. Think oh, the of this one right that was now. recalled. Yeah. Yeah, that that got recalled. Um, yeah. And 
he was supposed to be the acting, yeah, the acting, um, the the main character in that. Uh, and I guess, you know, obviously he got pulled. So, you know, he thought that uh, that this was such a good concept that he was on board for a whole nother game. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, the art, uh, the design and everything just looked so amazing. And then he looks up and he sees those five things in the air. So you know it's going to have some sort of like a sci-fi horror, you know, type of uh, role-playing game. And, uh, yeah. you know, what this guy's got to offer, you know, <laughs> we don't even know. Like, we just saw like a little bit of it. We have no idea, you know, what yeah. this thing's all about. Which, you know, I, he came out, uh, like you said, like a rock star. And uh, <laughs> he, he nailed it, man. He nailed it. Yeah. And uh, that's that's actually one of my most anticipated games at this point. Yeah. Uh, actually, there it was. Norman. Was it Norman Reedus? That's right. Yes, he, that's um, him. Yeah. That's him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So you're right. I didn't realize there was a connection there. So that was part of the, I guess, yeah, snatched it from Silent Hills. And, and then, I guess, basically, it's sort of a big, a big F you to Konami, I think, by casting him in this as well. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, Absolutely. if you've watched the trailer, it's it's basically a naked guy on a beach with a baby and an umbilical cord and dead whales. <laughs> um, and there's some beings floating in the sky, I think, at the end there. Um, mm-hmm. So, creepy. Um, the music was surreal, uh, but not a lot of detail to talk on, I guess, until, as I said, I'm pretty excited to see where that's going to go. Um, I think Sony then wrapped it off. They closed it off with Days Gone, which we already talked about early this morning, uh, early this afternoon. So um, there wasn't much. I, th- I think the ending of the, the PlayStation, the ending of the Sony conference, people might have thought a little bit underwhelmed. Would you say, Golden? Yeah. By the way, the name of that game was PT. That that other guy was in. That was yes. Or whatever. PT. Sony I'm PT. sorry. That's I, ha- right. I had to find it. I'm so sorry. Anyway. Um, no, it's good. So... Yeah, so underwhelming. Um, I would not have said underwhelming if I would have seen the Microsoft first. Um, this is what I think. I yeah, think, I hear you. I hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they came out and they just did trailer, 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 and the trailers were great. And they had some guys, you know, of course, you know, Kojima came out and everything. But mm. as far as like them progressing forward. As far as uh, equipment and as far as uh, the environment, um, the games are progressing. But yeah, I didn't see any PlayStation 4.5. Uh, they said they have 50 games coming out for VR, which is amazing. But mm. what's going to push that? And I think yeah. we all talked about it before we even went into this. And uh, my prediction, and this is just this is not confirmed. This is nothing. Mm. I think they were going to announce it. But then Microsoft beat them yeah, and came out with a this. better, yes, and came out with a better, more substantial piece of equipment because nobody even people had heard of of Scorp- What is it? What's the name of it? Uh, people heard of uh, Scorpio. Yeah, everyone had heard of, a kind of of Scorpio, but not really. Like I hadn't heard about it, but then I looked it up, and yeah, there there, there had been talk of it, uh, mm. but nothing big. But I didn't think it would be announced. I think it would be too early to... Right. PlayStation 4.5 has been announced. Like, they said, we are making this. This is happening. You know, why would Sony not produce and push the 4.5 right Mm. after Microsoft, you know, released this thing, this beast of a machine? Yeah, I mean, what, what I mean, what would you say, Bernie? I mean, it's uh, I, it's it's a hard one. I I really like the software lineup. I I'm pumped. This this Sony conference was great. I mean, the VR stuff was there. Um, is it is it maybe that they've already got the VR out there? Um, in terms of its release date, it's already about to come in a couple of months, and it's almost like the excitement's kind of just in the software and the hardware is just a foregone conclusion. I, I don't know. What did you think, Bernie? PlayStation is, the, you know, it's the, the, lar- the largest selling console. Uh, it has the most biggest player ba- base. It's E3. Mm. You should have talked about port 4.5. Yeah. All the, everything we've had is just articles, rumors. We don't know what the hardware is. We know what the technology is. Um, and I think definitely, in general, um, just talking, you know, there's a lot of, they've talked about a lot of games. They've showed a lot of games. Um, 
However, you know, there are some games in there that I wouldn't have put if I was PlayStation. I wouldn't have put them on the uh, on the main stage. So whether they're being slightly complacent into their position in the market, mm. or Microsoft actually did blow them away and they shit their pants <laughs> and decided to change up their show in the last last hour. Um, that's what it feels like. That's what um, I'd never even yeah. thought about this until you guys mentioned it. But it's a really good point. I, right. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I, I just, I'm a little bit blown away by by their you know their whole strategy to E3. Um, you know, 4.5 is the next big seller for them, and to not talk about it, mm. yes, VR looks incredible. Everyone knew v, VR on PS4 was going to be incredible, mm. um, and they released so many titles. They're talking about so many titles, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I just felt, I just was left a little bit hungry for more um, and we didn't get it. Yeah, there you have it. I mean, it's it's been a big day. I think we're, you might have maybe felt it in the podcast. We're all a bit tired. It's probably two o'clock in the morning for for Golden and, and Binary's just woken up. So um, we, it's been a, a big few days. We've been watching trailers nonstop. And of course, there's more to come because uh, we've got uh, Ubisoft uh, and Nintendo to look at still. And of course, we can't forget Ubisoft because of, of course, our favorite connections with The Division. In fact, the very reason that the three of us are sitting here right now even talking talking about this stuff is uh, is arguably Ubisoft so we, we can't not give them some love and we intend to do that um, over the next coming days uh, but that said I think we can agree it was a big day um, Microsoft and Sony both had some big titles on display we had hardware we had software we had VR we had new consoles we had slim consoles we had Hideo Kojima on stage being a rock god as always um, it was a good solid day I think we're looking forward to many more um, so Binary thank you for joining us Thank you so much for having me. It's been absolutely fantastic. Look forward to more. Yeah, thank you, sir. Golden Boy, likewise, my friend. Hey, thanks for having me, man. I just wanted to say uh, that you two have been working hella hard on the production side of this thing, and you guys have done really great, man, and it's been a pleasure. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. <laughs>